So what is going on YouTube? My name is Mehul and welcome to your third tutorial for Ionic Framework with Firebase and Social Login in which uh, we're gonna take a look at how we can create a card out of this information and right now since we are not requesting a lot of data just the default one which Facebook already provides us anyway so we're gonna stick with the display name and the image URL and probably the email address as well if the user provides it so what we're gonna do is uh, head over to the UI components and uh, let's just take a look if we can see some cards here right so we can um, see that we have got some nice cards in here right so yeah we could go with that one but that won't look a lot nice on the user's image as the background right this one looks fine though uh, not this one but this one right so let's just copy this thing and right here inside our home.html right here let's just paste this and what I'm gonna say is uh, something like um, I guess there's some sort of problem with the indentation, but anyways, so ng if um, Facebook logged in, right? So um, we're gonna do the same thing with here, but uh, for this one, I want to do something like this, and for this one, I want to do something like this only, right? And uh, what we're gonna do right now is uh, pretty much say right here that the Facebook logged in this dot Facebook logged in is true right here this dot Facebook logged in is false and finally we're gonna say Facebook logged in right here oh where did I get that square root symbol wow that's option plus we if anyone is guessing right so Facebook logged in is false by default and yeah so I'm assuming that nobody has the Facebook logged in by default which is pretty much a good assumption anyhow so yeah that should do the job but now what I want is uh, the uh, Facebook dot name right and let's why not just create a object because that would create if you do individual uh, naming that would create a hell lot of mess Facebook is an object login logged in is false name is nothing uh, let's just say profile uh, URL uh, profile picture is nothing and what else email is also nothing right and then what we can do is uh, dot logged in is true Facebook dot logged in is false right and right here we can say this dot Facebook dot uh, um, what else name is response and uh, we're gonna take a look here what response is so if we kind of uh, store it as a global what the heck um, okay so if we take a look anyhow we would be able to see that response dot user gets us to the users information and uh, the name is uh, inside display name this dot facebook dot email is response dot user dot email and this dot facebook dot uh, uh, profile picture is of, uh, what we have in here profile picture is a response dot user dot photo URL fair enough and uh, uh, we can again replace it like Facebook dot profile picture and uh, right here if we take a look in our card what we have the name here and these three buttons as well but uh, we do not have those right now so what we can do is I can just do it like right here text align center why the heck not and I'm gonna say Facebook dot email and uh, 
yeah that should probably work uh, let's just take a look so if I reload this thing I log in with Facebook I get my response back okay so um, what is going on here Facebook log oh okay so we have a problem here this uh, Facebook dot logged in right I forgot to update things here and there we go right let's just reload one more time log in with Facebook get us back and uh, uh, okay 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 come on well Facebook dot logged in right this dot Facebook dot logged in is true uh, we are using arrow functions so this should probably point to the correct one okay so we have got it I guess I would need some sort of loader or something right here um, while it's uh, processing it right so we have got a low quality image here I'm sure we could probably request it as well from Facebook somewhere um, the dimensions console.log uh, we can just console log the response anyhow and uh, we could have uh, also logged out of Facebook anyways so again let's just log in one last time uh, let's just wait a little we got the user and I'm not sure what's taking a lot of time to actually put this thing well we do have the user right so why the hell does it take a lot of time to actually uh, reflect the changes I'm not really sure but anyways I'll try to figure that out later on but anyhow it works and this time it worked quite fast I guess but anyways might be my internet connection so you know you get the idea that how um, you can make use of this thing to um, actually set up your own um, custom login flows and yeah that's all for this one and in the next one we're going to take a look at how to implement um, let's just say google login with the same um, flow and interface so that's all for this one and if you liked it then please don't forget to subscribe and thank you for watching i'll see you then in the next one